So a lot of you have asked me how I take notes in medical school using the iPad Pro and GoodNotes. And as some of you know, I also use Remnote, which is a note-taking app that helps you memorize your notes. So in this video, I wanna share with you my learning process, how I synergize these two apps to create a powerful study system. So why do I use two separate apps? Well, it's the same reason why we have different tools in a toolbox. Every tool specializes in something different. You wouldn't use a wrench to hammer a nail, and you wouldn't use a hammer to turn a nut, right? The hammer was made for hammering nails. So same goes for GoodNotes and RemNote. For me, the process of learning comes in two phases, the note-taking phase and the study phase. I use GoodNotes to take notes and I use RemNote to study those notes. GoodNotes is great for taking notes because you can use a pencil or stylus to write, draw, and really get personal with the material. I'll talk more about this a little later. On the other hand, I think RemNote is great for studying. If you're unfamiliar with RemNote, it's a note-taking app that Mike and I are working on. Shameless plug but it's completely free to use and it basically automatically generates space repetition flashcards using the notes that you take. And the space repetition is essential for helping you memorize information for the long term. As you know, in medical school, we can't just cram for a test and then forget everything the next day. It's a marathon where you have to retain the information for the long term and continually be adding on top of that foundation. All right, so let's go into detail about the actual process. I start off by using GoodNotes to gather ideas from textbooks, lectures, and PowerPoints. I like to call this step of the process the struggle because I'm learning information for the first time and I'm trying to make sense of what it is. There are really two reasons why I prefer to use GoodNotes for this step. First is handwriting freedom. There's just something so satisfying about the writing experience. The ability to draw that's unhindered by the rules of outliner features and keyboards that works so well with my brain. I draw diagrams or make tables that make sense to me. I prefer not to draw too much because I think it's very time consuming and I don't really care to make very aesthetic or nice looking notes. But I do think the ability to annotate directly on top of PDFs or diagrams is crazy useful. I always import my textbooks or lectures as PDFs into GoodNotes, and then I open up two side-by-side -side instances so I can take notes while I'm also annotating on top of pictures. So I'm currently studying OB and gynecology for medicine, and I have an incredibly difficult time keeping track of all the different types of cancers. Like there's ovarian cancers, endometrial cancers, cervical cancers, vulvar cancers, and each one of those have different subtypes as well. It's very confusing. So what I've done when learning them individually is include a picture, uh, the same picture actually, and I annotate directly on top of that picture what part of the organ I'm learning about. So for ovarian cancer, I labeled it here, and then for cervical cancer, I've labeled it here. You get the idea. Having these visual cues helps me recognize where in the body I'm looking at and piece things together better. For the annotated charts and diagrams, what I do is I use the lasso tool to screenshot uh, the image and then I can just drag it and transfer it directly onto my notes. My notes are actually separate from the PDFs and lectures because I don't wanna have to dig through a whole bunch of slides. I just want all the important information consolidated in one place, so it's quick and painless to transfer when I move over to RemNote. The second advantage I see with GoodNotes might seem counterintuitive, but I write a lot slower than I can type, which is actually helpful because I'm more careful about what I'm writing down. It's so easy for me to verbatim just type everything that my professor is saying, or you know, copy and paste from a textbook, but I found that when I do this, I end up with just pages and pages of meaningless text and thoughts because I was just passively writing them down. 
I wasn't really thinking about it. Whereas with handwriting, I really only write down the most important details because it forces me to slow down and think about what I'm writing, which is more strategic and it prevents serious hand cramps. As I mentioned earlier, I try not to spend too much time making very aesthetic or color-coded notes. And the reason for this is I don't actually do any of my review in GoodNotes. This is where RemNote comes in. It helps me solidify everything that I've been struggling with. And unlike using other flashcard apps where you make standalone flashcards one at a time, RemNote allows you to organize your ideas in tree note-taking format where you branch out an interconnected web of ideas and break things down to their most basic parts. And then it turns them all into flashcards. So what I do next is I transfer all of my GoodNotes into RemNote. GoodNotes comes equipped with a handwriting to text converter. I'm pretty sure other apps have this feature as well, but it just makes the transfer way easier. And this is where the consolidated GoodNotes I wrote earlier come in handy. So as you can see, I generally like to write everything about a specific topic in small sections like this. And I wanna transfer them all into RemNote and maintain those sections. So what I can do is use the lasso tool again and just highlight over all of the text I wanna bring over, press convert, and it automatically turns it into text. Obviously there's gonna be a few typos in there because of my terrible god awful handwriting, <laughs> but I can easily make those edits in RemNote. I'll just go ahead and copy this and then paste it over in RemNote. And I write out my notes in a way that when I transfer it to RemNote, everything will already be made into flashcards. There's a very specific syntax in RemNote you have to use to generate flashcards, which is using two colons to separate the front and the back of each flashcard. And because I'm very familiar with the syntax, I write my notes in the same way to streamline this process as much as possible. And same goes with images and pictures too. I can just tap and drag images from GoodNotes into RemNote, which is very convenient. I think of it like going through a double screening process from textbook to GoodNotes and then GoodNotes to RemNote. This is the part where I decide, is this fact actually worth remembering for the long term? And now that everything is in RemNote, I begin the final stage of the learning process where I connect all the dots and learn everything for the long term using active recall and spaced repetition, which are the most effective scientifically proven study strategies. If you're interested in learning more about these, feel free to check out our videos up here for a more in-depth explanation. So my goal with RemNote is to create a personal knowledge database that's easy to navigate and study from, regardless of when I might need to do this. Because I'm a third year in medical school right now, and that means I will be preparing for my step two exam, which is a standardized test, which I probably won't be taking for about a year or so. And one of the things that frustrates me the most is having to relearn information that I've forgotten in the past. And to solve this problem, I wanted to make it as easy as possible to study from my knowledge database, regardless of time, whether that be tomorrow or three years from now. And this is made possible by utilizing the features in RemNote that you can't find in other note-taking apps. This is the bi-directional linking and the customizable flashcards. Let's see. Here are all the notes on ovarian cancer that I brought into RemNote from GoodNotes. What I'll do here is link concepts to other concepts I know I've already studied in the past or that I know I'm gonna study in the future. For instance, one of the risk factors for ovarian cancer is endometriosis. So I'm gonna create a hyperlink to endometriosis, which I learned about a couple days ago. And I can go back and forth between my notes, or I can just view it with a hover of my cursor. That's what a bi-directional link is. I also like to put images behind my text to help trigger my memory. You know, eight months from now, I might forget where stromal tumors are located. So I made a reference for stromal tumors and put the image here so that if I ever forget, I can just hover my cursor over it and see exactly where it is. And the last thing I wanna share are image occlusion flashcards or fill in the blank flashcards for your images because I think that the combination of GoodNotes with RemNote allows you to take full advantage of this feature. 
So here's a diagram I drew in GoodNotes describing the different types of ovarian cancers. And in RemNote, I can click on the image and I can make occlusions, which is going to be very helpful when I study later. I'll just have to fill in the blanks using Active Recall. So I'm able to use the creativity and flexibility of handwriting in GoodNotes while also capitalizing on image occlusion in RemNote. So after doing this for all of my notes over time, I hope to create an interconnected web of knowledge that's easy to explore and study from because of the spaced repetition flashcards. And it's really easy to add new information into RemNote and make edits because it has a keyboard, which in my opinion makes it way easier to do than in GoodNotes. And studying flashcards is way more effective than, you know, passively rereading your GoodNotes. See, everything is turned into a flashcard, but they also exist as organized smart notes. So I tend to spend a lot more time in RemNote solidifying all my studies and connecting the dots. It's just a better tool for the job for this part of the learning process. But yeah, that's pretty much how I've been using GoodNotes with RemNote to study. So I hope that this was somewhat helpful to you and feel free to borrow ideas for yourself. If you have your own workflow using either of these programs, definitely drop a comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing to study as well. I'm always trying to improve my own study system, so maybe we can help each other out. But anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. Definitely consider subscribing if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe with Mike too. I hope you enjoyed that video. Give it a thumbs up because it really helps us out. And if you want to see more, click on the red subscribe button down here or the circle up here. Check out our website or check out our Instagram. Links in the description below. And check out these videos over here. We think you might enjoy them. And we'll see you next time.